Hello, this is Klopa321, and this is tutorial 03 of VHV My Admin and MySQL Introduction. And on this tutorial, we're going to be going over making a user in MySQL and using that user to connect to a database in PHP. So, in, um, first of all, we have our database, which is a test database, and then, but we need to make a user. That user uh, needs to be created, so what we need to do is go to privileges, and then you can see there's a list of users here. And I want to do on I want to click on add a new user in PHP My Admin. And then here I'm going to put in my username, so I'm just going to say PHP user. So that's pretty much that. So I can now I can just select which host. What this means is that it limits uh, which servers or which people can actually connect to the your uh, my SQL server through this user so if I click on any host uh, well I have to click on something else first but if I click on any host it uses a percent sign as a wildcard saying it can connect from this server can connect from my friend's home it can connect from China wherever if you just do local host uh, for uh, just local usage then you can uh, click on hosts and go to local. Then I need to put in my password. I'm going to say PHP pass and PHP pass. And uh, then I'm going to go down to global privileges, which has to do with uh, with what things that this user can do, such as select, insert, updates, uh, shut down the server, uh, and do all sorts of stuff. So I'm going to just click on check all, so it has pretty much every privilege I need and uh, right here uh, this option is for administrators when they're creating uh, users for multiple people um, so usually that's used for uh, servers that have several websites on them and the same thing with the second option here so now I can click on go and now I have this new user so I want to go to uh, test and I want to create my table and I'm just going to say uh, table-ish and I'm going to make three fields I'm going to go through make an ID make a name change it to various character and make it a length of 200 characters make this ID 255 and then I'm going to put in content here and then I'm going to put in text for the type and text doesn't need a length of uh, uh, for the value because it's automatic on how much it has and uh, then I want to check for auto increment there and I'm going to check uh, and put down the list that the index it, in other words the key is a primary key for ID and then I go click on save and now I have a table and next I'm going to go to insert I'm going to say the name is tacos are not from China I'm going to click on go and now I have this SQL now if you try going to create PHP code there's a problem as it tries putting these backslashes and that causes an issue however uh, the other parts like this SQL section is correct so if I go into my editor I'm using Komodo edit, uh, right there and I put in my uh, <coughs> and I put in my SQL statement I'm going to say this and I'm going to paste in what it had in PHP my admin and then I'm going to say here and it, with different values I'm going to say apples uh, might come from Georgia and that's it there. However, you cannot expect this to automatically just do the same thing as it uh, as it might otherwise add into here in this table ish table. So what you have to do is first you have to connect to the database. So what you want to do is pretty much follow this connection here with the uh, with the link equals and stuff like that. However, you do not need this. Um, unless you're using multiple connections to different databases or with different users. 
So I could copy this, however, I also need to select the database and on the example here in the uh, MySQL database uh, it has the, the connection uh, and the database selection. So I'm going to copy this here, uh, only this section, and I'm going to come back to my editor and paste it right above that. So now I have the user and the password. So now I'm going to change the user to PHP user as I named it, and then I'm going to set the password to PHP password or just pass. And then I can say that my database is called test, and I'm going to change this here. And I'm going to save this page and view it inside the browser. And uh, click here. Now it doesn't say anything there, um, it seems. But if I went and said else, uh, and said echo, I am connected, and then I save it, and I refreshed here, it says I am connected. Now if I change this password to pass E right there and saved it, it should say that it cannot be connected because it has the wrong password. So I'm going to change this back and save. So what I can do next is I can take this SQL and execute it. How I do that is by doing MySQL query and then the string which which is the query which I have as SQL and then I'm going to put in the link and then I'm going to just save it and it should uh, execute it and if I go back here and I refresh the browser on the table it's going to say that this new row that I've just entered so if I come back here and say Apple Z might come from Florida where I just put in oranges and save and I refresh this page by pressing F5 and then I come back and refresh here and go to browse. Now it has that one row that I just put in here. However, if I go back and refresh this again and I come back and browse again, I'm going to have two rows that are the same stuff because I've redone the, re well, refreshed the page twice, so it queried the same thing twice. Um, you can also put variables into here like uh, nickname or other things like uh, link or dollar sign contents, which isn't set to anything, but you can all. But since it's in double quotes, you can put in the uh, the variables indirectly, or you can do uh, or you could do double quotes and then do this and then concatenate around it with dots. However, I would suggest that you also use this one special function called MySQL uh, real escape string because what it does is that if it has any special characters that might mess up the uh, SQL statement it will you know, solve the problem so in other words like if they decided to put a quote inside the text for the link name it will uh, prepare it so that it does not interfere with a quote used in the actual statement that's sent to the database because otherwise you can have what's called uh, SQL injection and that can cause problems with your security and you can lose all sorts of data and have um, possibly confidential information released which you do not want to have released so that's how uh, that works so if I put in a uh, nickname equals uh, tacos123 and then a random number from 0 to 20 and then I said the contents equals uh, the MD5 of a random number and I'm just saying MD5 because it, it generates um, a good length of characters for whatever I put in so if I do that and save 
then I should be able to refresh here, come back here and browse, and it says tacos123, and it guess the random number was 18, and I have no clue what that was. If I refresh again, it should be different. And as you can see, it is completely dynamic. I did not edit any other files in between those two steps. It just did it on its own based on that. And uh, that's how you put information to a database. And this is Club 321 signing off.